You're watching the Auction Network. I'm Stephen Hill at the 2008 Newcomb Jet Ski Auction where bidders are snatching up personal watercraft in anticipation of upcoming summer fun. Everybody's got cabin fever. They're ready to get out and get on the lake. So they're ready to go. Learning how to jet ski is one thing, but I couldn't host a water sports auction and walk away not knowing how to water ski too. It's almost similar to snow skiing versus snowboarding. Uh, wakeboarding now, you used to see all water skiers out on the bay. Now you see all wakeboarders. It's amazing, you can go big air, flips, all different types of tricks, and uh, it's, it's really exciting. Look at this. I don't remember the first time I attempted, the first time I failed at wakeboarding. I don't remember such an elaborate setup. The technology's come a long way. So 10 years ago when I tried. You probably just had a strap over the top. I did. That's it. So you probably were riding like a scurfer or something like that. So much harder to do than this model here. So what you're going to do now is I'm going to have you jump in the water. Do my thighs look big? <laughs> So some of the tricks to getting up, we want to have you bend your knees all the way up to your chest. Your arms are going to be kind of straight, and your knuckles right up near the edge of the board. As we pull forward, you're basically you're going to roll forward. So bend those knees up, arms there. As I pull, you're just going to go ahead and stand up just like that. Now the trick is, you need to make sure you point your toes. So you about ready to go, first time? I'm going to get it my first time. All right, good man. Here we go. I definitely was not zen enough on the <laughs> Alright. Ouch! That probably hurt. Point those toes, bend your knees. Go ahead, Annie. Yeah! Good job! No, he is doing good. He's out there. He did excellent. Oh, come on. No, he seriously, I mean, he got up the second try, which, you know what, I've had a lot of people that don't ever get up. Jim, really? Give me the truth. How did I do it? You got up, so success. You got up on the second try, giant success. We couldn't keep you up, but you know I what? I a little bit on the side. You did, you did, you did. So you know what? If we had a little warmer water today, we'd get you out there and keep you up a little longer. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're freezing. Just hold, hold me, Jim, hold me. Here you go. <laughs> Rex Newcomb, I want to see you wakeboard, buddy. That's my challenge, I'm throwing the gauntlet down. Let's check back in with the auction and see if the bidding is more balanced than I am. Here we have a 2007 model Yamaha, this uh, black and red model. It is the most popular ski on the water as far as sales. They sold more units of that model than, than any other manufacturer and it leads also in use uh, by rental companies. PX Cruiser, 1,052 cc's. Sits right on 110 horsepower. 3,000, now 3,500. 3,500, not four. 4,000, 4,000 dollars on the four to buy. Yes. Four, not 4,500. Here's one of the ones on my list. One one that she really wanted, but. You kind of take what you can get. $5,000, now 5,100. 51, now 52. 52, 52, now 50 $5,700. $5,700. Total $5,700. It's a three-seater. Yeah. We've got the step-up bar. We like that. So last one we had is a Kawasaki, so we're pretty happy. Here we have a, a 2006 model Sea-Doo. This particular unit only had like six hours when it came in, it's their largest engine manufacturer. It is a 1500 cc three cylinder. It is a supercharged engine. It is also intercooled. It has uh, 215 horsepower. 2006 It has trim. It has uh, tilt steering wheel. It'll even tell you the temperature of the water. 
$5,900. This is a, a three-seater. It's nearly 10 feet long. It holds probably 15 gallons of fuel, I would, I would imagine. It's just a, a, a very pleasant runabout. 70 mile an hour, that's faster than most speed limits. Uh, so if, if I, I haven't seen a car pull up alongside one yet, but yeah, they, they go almost nearly as fast as a car will. 185 horsepower. I got two. I got two. And one, 2500 to 2500. Yes, absolutely. First auction ever. I don't know. I guess we'll see once I get it, but I think I did all right. I actually didn't hear what he said it was worth. My buddy thinks it's probably worth uh, seven or eight thousand. Today did good. Uh, we're, we're looking at March 1st and uh, we're probably the only only place in uh, the state of Kansas or whole Midwest that actually sold better than 20 jet skis. Today was a good day. Probably what I would say to the person that's just standing by, a spectator, uh, it looked good. Oh, I think it went great. Yeah. People had a lot of fun and uh, looked like they was getting what they wanted for the price they wanted. The high horsepower skis, uh, they sold well today. That seems to be what, what direction most people are going. 110, 125, 165, 185 horsepower. They brought big numbers, I think uh, in the six and seven thousand dollar range a few, five to six, real uh, uh, number of them went for that. 57, 4700, 5700, solid 5900. That was probably the strongest segment, if you call it that. In the, in the sales today? Well, start all over tomorrow and get an auction ready for next Saturday. I'd rather do an auction than anything under the sun. I'd rather be having an auction to work on, no matter what kind it is, than to grab my fishing pole and go fishing, or my golf clubs and play golf, because I'm not very good at either one of them. That's our Water World adventure here at the Newcombs Boat and Jet Ski Sale here in Wichita, Kansas. Thanks to the Newcombs for their generosity. Thank you for watching. I'm Stephen Hill, and I'll see you really soon at another auction. $3,500, on it. Go to the gentleman with the pretty eyes. To register for future live auctions, go to auctionnetwork.com.